Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about another congruence theorem for triangles called side 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 or SSS. So what it, this congruence theorem tells us, it says if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Okay, so it seems pretty self-explanatory, but we also have to keep in mind the angle measures need to be the same for our triangles to be congruent. So I'm gonna show you um, an example of side, 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 and then also why it works. Okay, so here's our example right here. Uh, we have triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Tells us that if side AB is congruent to side DE, so there's one pair of congruent sides, and we have BC congruent to EF, so another pair of congruent sides, and side AC is congruent to side DF. So three sides are congruent, then we have congruent triangles. Okay, so why does this work? All right, so remember, for congruent shapes, we should be able to go from one shape to the other using what are called rigid motions. So that would be a transformation like a translation or a reflection or a rotation, something like that. So I'm gonna take my triangle ABC here and we are going to translate it and we're gonna rotate it so that it maps side AC to side DF, okay? So here's what we would do. We could translate, which is just a slide, right? So that it maps vertice A to vertice D. And then if I rotate here, okay, I'm gonna rotate like this and I'm gonna move my shape down and a little bit to the right so that our two sides that are congruent map on top of each other, okay? So now I drew these by hand, so a little bit off right there as you can see, but we'll just go along with the fact that they have congruent sides because that's what our markings tell us, okay? So now what we can do to kind of help us with this is we can draw ourselves like an auxiliary line here that goes through our vertices here. Let me start over and put it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Ah, here we go. All right, so now we can draw us an auxiliary line through these two vertices to kind of help us make this make sense. So now what we've done is we've created basically like two separate triangles, right? We have triangle DEF, which is this triangle right here that I've highlighted. All right, we have that triangle, and then we have triangle um, EFB, BEF, right? Something like that, kind of a bigger triangle. Well, what we notice about both of these triangles is that they are isosceles triangles, right? So we have two congruent sides here. So what the base angles theorem tells us is that this angle right here is congruent to this angle down here. So we'll call that angle one and three, and we'll go two and angle four right there. Okay, so we have angle one, which is congruent to angle three because of this isosceles triangle we've created here. And then we also have a bigger isosceles triangle with our triangle on the right side. So now also this is gonna tell us angle two is congruent to angle four, okay? All right, so now we can look at our angles and we can say, okay, how about this larger angle here, right? That would be like angle, we'll call it DEF, right? Angle DEF, I know some of my letters are kind of overlapping here. Well, that's gonna be equal to the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two, right? Down here at the bottom, this entire angle, we'll call it angle DBF, is going to be equal to the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four. Okay, so now how is this beneficial to us? Well, if we can prove that these two angles, the larger angle here, if we can prove that they are congruent, then we can use the side angle side congruence theorem to prove that these two triangles are congruent, okay? So now let's look at a little bit of substitution here. Okay, so if one angle one is congruent to angle three and angle two is congruent to angle four, then we can say this addition here, those two expressions are equal to each other. Therefore proving that these two angles are in fact congruent, which means they have the same measure. And so now we can say actually by the side angle side theorem, these two triangles are congruent. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF, which also proves side, side, side. Okay, so this was about side, side, side. If you wanna review side, angle, side, you can look at the top right-hand corner of this video right now to review that. All right, so that is it for side, side, side. <laughs>